So, guys, back to the periodontal. Yes. So, yeah, so basically I have periodontal stuff, periodontal disease. So there's bone loss. It's actually surpassed the, like, part where, like, the gums are bleeding Mm. because my gums don't bleed. They don't bleed anymore. It's really just the bone loss. And they said it's due to pregnancy. So um, what we're trying to do now with the periodontal therapy is to close the pocket pockets because I've got deep pockets. So I've had my first session. I had my first session to, on Tuesday of the periodontal therapy. Um, and now because of that, it's kind of like made my gums recede as well. Um, I was supposed to have the second session today, but my dentist got COVID. It's mad. So I better have my clean too. Crazy. So I don't know when I'm going to get my next appointment because I've got an operation this week and I'm going to not be in the position to go to the dentist. For at least a month. For at least a month. So I've got one side that's been treated. And the other side that hasn't been treated. Yeah. It's actually jokes. It's not jokes at all, actually. It's a joke. It's a joke. Like, so... But is is that person the only dentist that can perform the procedure? Or does the whole environment have to go into hiding? Uh, What's it, hiding? uh, What's it called, isolation? they, They tried to offer me a second dentist on Saturday. No. But I'm supposed to be isolating because of my operation. Yeah. So... Why can they offer it today? So I was like, I can't. I've got an operation, mate. I'm yeah. supposed to be isolating until my operation. Yeah, it's, it's not going to happen still. So. Periodontal. Per, so yeah, so the whole, this whole, it, it's just headache. By the way, the periodontal therapy is excruciating. They had to, they, they put. Um, anesthetic. Anesthetic. But it was still painful. My mouth is so sensitive now. Like, I can hardly drink a hot drink. I can hardly drink really cold drinks. Brushing my teeth. Because I have to do, like, I do the FBI process. Floss, brush, irrigate. We have a water pick. So we use an actual normal floss, like the string, whatever floss. Mm -hmm. Then we brush with our electric toothbrush. And then we use the water pick with some mouthwash as um, Listerine, because it's antiseptic, in in the water pick to used as basically the irrigation and i do that with every clean we we, i clean at least three times a day so i brush my teeth at least three times a day and i do that whole process the whole fbi process and it has drastically helped my gum situation but it hasn't eradicated the issue you know i needed to do the periodontal therapy in order to actually completely get rid of the issue (laughs) but now i've got the one side that's been sorted and then I've got the other side that's not sorted and I don't know when that's going to happen. And I was hoping to have my ther- my periodontal therapy done and dusted before my operation. That's why I booked it this week. Mm. And then now look. I mean, on the bright side, if that guy, if the dentist didn't declare his um, COVID status, you would have got COVID. Yeah. And then your appointment, your operation wouldn't happen. Yeah. So in a way, it's a win. I just hope that he didn't have COVID before. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? True. Anyways, tomorrow... But time, you can breathe fine. Time's, yeah, I'm fine. You can taste everything. I got... Yeah, no. I got. When did I get my booster? My last, booster last, last week. This time last week, yeah. Yeah, I got my booster last week. Anyways, we're going to see, um, because I'm getting tested tomorrow, I have to do a drive through testing. Gonna, they're going to test you via, via the car? Yeah. Fair enough. 